The view from its tower, the Heralda, can be spectacular. Even the view from afar is breathtaking. Viewed even closer, but nothing compares to seeing its interior. Join me and let's immerse ourselves in its sights and sound. Filmed during the Resurrection Sunday, when the grand pipe organ was played. Sharing places, events and cultures, here on my barrio, my mundo. And we're inside the cathedral. It's the largest cathedral and Gothic church in the entire world. It features Renaissance, Gothic and neoclassical styles. It's built between 1401 to 1506 and it is the fourth largest church in the world. The cathedral was built on the site of the former Almohad Mosque after the conquest of Seville from the Moors by Ferdinand III. Over the course of history, the chapels and chambers inside the cathedral have also been burial grounds for many famous people, including Christopher Columbus. The tomb is held in place by four allegorical figures depicting the four kingdoms in Spain, Castilla, Leon, Navarra, and Aragon. The cathedral has been registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with the Alcazar, for which we have a full tour video, link in the description box and also above. Along with being a historic former mosque that has been converted into a cathedral, it is an important landmark in the city. I'll stop the commentary for us to enjoy the playing of the organ during the Mass. And that concludes the Mass and our tour inside, but join me outside, there's a bigger event, or equally big event, I should say, the procession, which are big in Sevilla. Let's go outside, join me.
And that concludes our tour of the Sevilla Cathedral. I hope you enjoyed its sights and sounds, as well as the attractions, the events outside, which are equally grand. I hope you were inspired to subscribe to my patio, my mundo, for places, events and cultures. Thanks for watching.